from Zero FXP, let's unbox the new Retivis Alance H1. So what have we got in the box? We have a manual. Okay, looks okay. Leave that there for later. A programming cable, just a twin pin cable. Pretty much the same as your Anytone. The reason I've got the Anytone 878 there is because I feel these are similar, although there's no Bluetooth on this model, but there is a GPS and APRS, and with the newer 878, you get that. So here's the radio. Let's get this out. It's quite sort of plain, but it's, it's plain, but it's not plain. I've had a little tinker with it. Uh, I've set the background so it does look like the, the 878. You'll see. And you'll notice that all the colours are customisable. You've got GPS there, battery, signal, and uh, we can go single or dual screen. And yeah, it's VHF, UHF. So let's see what's in the... Get everything out of the box. Now I have a closer look. So just quickly, take out this protective cover. These are about £180. So probably a two amp charger, or at least it comes with a British plug. We have got a drop-in charger, although it is USB-C, and even the charging dock has got USB-C. Belt clip, screws for the belt clip, antenna, and belt clip. So let's get it on the table. So this is everything we get. Where's my antenna gone? Interestingly, when I tested it, it's only a, a, just a budget antenna. When I tested it, it actually transmitted on PMR, marine band. It does not have air band and um, GMRS. So, of course, I'm going to be doing lots of videos programming this radio. Uh, I think it's a nice looking radio. Um, and I think it's up to you to decide if it competes with the Anytone 878-868. So let's move on to, to having a closer look at this radio. Uh, but overall, it's you know it's nice looking. You've got your your twin connectors there. Also, you can use that for your headset. And you've got quite a stylish button here. I don't think that lights up, but quite a stylish button. And then programmable buttons in the middle. Channel change is it? Yeah, channel change, volume, and the speaker's nice and loud. Full keypad, which I like with the alphabet on up and down arrows. And um, that is program. The software is available. We'll be looking at that. Quite a big belt clip on the back here. Like so. We'll get that on in a second. So let's have a closer look. Thanks for watching so far. Okay, so we've unboxed it. Let's go through this very long list that I've got here of all its functions. So first of all, let's look at just the, the basics. So we turn it off here. That's off. Turn it on and it's volume as well. There's an LED there and SOS button. And the middle one is channel changing, as you can see just there. And it's a nice, it's definitely a nice sort of loud front facing speaker, budget antenna, of course. So it's not going to do great really, unless you're out and you know, quite high up, but it's, you know, we can lots of good priced antennas, unusual style button there if you look at the side and you can actually set one of these to be a ptt as well but yeah you are got that style there big belt clip as you can see on the back and then usb c just there and then there's your usual twin pin for programming and it's your typical but it's the retivis cable rather than the bofen cable so the bofen one won't work you'll need the one off your anytone or your hate or your alance radios similar price very low price devices so you'll notice straight away it's showing a gps logo there i'm going to go down through my list the battery is 2900 milliamp hours so if we just go like so pull this like that and it just lifts out okay like so nice and straightforward and pop that back in full keypad up and down arrows or you can change the with the knob here just turn it out we might get my node in a minute menu and list showing it every color is customizable you can do single screen like so it's also got an fm radio i'm pretty sure i've set a shortcut button on one of these or oh, it's got hidden mode i haven't found out what that is yet but i'm going to 
And let's see if I can get the radio to come on. Now I might Mike you heard someone coming in there. Well, it's in the menu settings as well, but you can basically set a shortcut button for keypad there as well. APRS, DMR and analog. And that is, uh, you know, that's quite a big one really to be able to get analog. So of course we'll do separate videos testing that. You can display the battery. You can actually display the time. If you go to single mode, you start to display time, which you can set. I haven't set it yet. To change it between analog and digital, nice and easy. Just go menu, go down to settings. Uh, channel info and then all you do is just go channel type select and if we go to digital then go back the red button is basically your back button and we're now in digital and that's for our hotspot you can program the radio you need to program your contacts your color code your time slot for, for DMR and we're in VFO mode now so when you're in VFO mode you basically can um, type a frequency so we can go four three three five five zero it's still in digital and when you're in channel mode so if we hold down the red button we've gone to channel mode there and we want to go a and b it's the star star here a b top bottom so if you're in the top and you press the hash it will display that and all the information you need is there it does not have uh it does not have bluetooth it does have the weather channels, NOAA. The frequency coverage, I would say, is, does not cover airband, but it does go, it does do GMRS, um, marine band, surprisingly, and PMR, but I'm not sure if you'll, you can legally use that, but it does do it, just so you know. You can manually dial uh, a talk group, which is very handy. You can add talk groups to the radio using the radio. See that so if we press when you're in dmr mode you get a different menu you go menu there's your contacts and you can go look new contact and start adding contact it does have talk alias if you're not familiar with that what talk alias is i'm going to turn it on for now is if you don't want to load the 500,000 contacts that you can load and it this radio will hold them it will, if someone else has turned on their talker alias, it means their call sign, their DMR number and their location will come through um, uh, onto, into the, onto the screen without you having to load all the contacts, which I think is very handy. And of course, GPS, and I think we've got a lock there. It's gone green, so we go menu. Let's go down. As we go down, you'll see that we've got the position. So if we just go to GPS info, there's my position now. It's quite basic, really. I thought it looked prettier on some of the other photographs. Maybe on the APRS receive it looks nicer. We will look at that and go back. And then we've got all the APRS settings, APRS modem, which is off at the moment. Uh, digi position. And you can choose if you use fixed position. You've got beaconing. You've got an APRS list for analog, which means it does receive APRS. If you see if you see that it's got a list, it means it does. So let's just go down. Contacts are you basically when a contact is when you transmit and you select the contact within the channel that you've programmed. When you transmit, if the contacts say 91 worldwide, which is the busiest, when you TX, it will TX on that contact. So if we look at that now, digital and I transmit middle button, it's going to tell us Look, at the moment it's transmitting up as far as I can see on number one. There's no one there on number one. If you turn on digi mode, you'll hear as long as there's a repeater or, or a hotspot near you, um, you'll hear if we go down to keep going down to promiscuous digi monitor. And if you turn them all on, that's there's three here. OK, it will receive everything that it receives on that frequency. I'm going to plug in my hotspot. And just see if it just comes to life. I'll just put that in the background. Just a typical budget hotspot. I highly recommend you get one of these things because the radio is so much more uh, fun. Because when you've got a hotspot, you can talk to people around the world. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, with no effort, really. Of course, the learning of any DMR radio is really hard. If you've never done it before, you're going to say it's a nightmare. It's not worth it. But keep going because it opens up a whole world for you. And that's part of the hobby is is learning so i'm pretty sure that's everything that in my list there it's got a broadcast radio we did say it did have so menu 
contact. You can send DMR messages. Look, and maybe analog, but definitely DMR. It's got call history, scanning functions that I've not used, but it's quite extensive on its scanning range. Uh, changing zones, and we've not added zones. Yes, I will be doing a very detailed video and teaching you how to program this using, you know, using the software, the code plug, which is very good, by the way. Um, but you can program this radio by hand only, and I will be showing videos on that as well. Big settings there. The channel info is basically where you would program a channel, DMR or analog. So that's how you would program it. And if you're in VFO mode, you can't you can't save to memory. So to, to program a channel to memory, just go into memory, you know, come out of VFO mode. So at the moment it says VFO1. If we hold down, let's get it right. Oh, wrong one. The red button, we go into channel mode. So now when you go into menu, go down to settings, down with the down arrow, settings, channel info, Look, new channel, but you can go down and set all the channel parameters, but and this time it will actually save it. It won't let you save, yeah, um, if you're in VFO mode. So you have to be in memory mode. And also, programming the buttons is important. So we go menu, go down to settings, and go to radio settings. If you want to see your DM while we're here, if you want to see what firmware, software you've got, hardware, go to de device info, select. And just start to scroll down. Look, my radio, it's the H1UV. Um, and you can see the frequency range there, the hardware version, the firmware, and the software version. And, uh, and look, even when it was last programmed, which is very recent because these have only just come out. Back in with the, going back with the red button, zones, settings, position. We saw the APRS, emergency weather settings. There's FM radio. So if we just go to, you can set a shortcut. If we back out, we should see that. There it is there. Buildings. So overall energy demand. Okay, so <laughs> uh, let's just turn that off a minute. Key beep, backlight, and you can set, you know, you can set every color on this thing. Brightness, day and night. So if we go to day, then you go into this mode, which I don't think is nice. That's like, mm, it's okay. I prefer the other one. <laughs> uh, settings, uh, radio set. Day. I'm going to go to night mode, which is way better. And even night mode, you can set the colors. Uh, radio settings, let's keep going down. Day and night, brightness, keypad, lock mode, key, LED. You can decide what that does. Uh, it's like it's on anyway. Uh, power on, password, Vox, so you don't need to use the PTT. Channel display mode, whether it's you can display just the name or the frequency or the channel, it's up to you. I, I, do you know what? I need to learn what hidden mode is. So I'm going to do a separate video on that because I don't actually know what that is. So let's keep going down the menu. Auto power off, language. Menu exit time, which at the moment is set to infinite. Power on picture, so you can have a boot up pick, which we will do. Background. Default is black, which is the one I prefer. But look, watch this. Red. And we go back. How cool is that? Come on. Anyway, menu. <laughs> oh, back into settings. La da da. Power on, hidden. Background, black. Back, I mean, the buttons feel nice. Look, you can change the colors of A and B and zones, as you can see. Single mobile, we've got that on a shortcut. Frequency steps, 27. Back, squelch, 28, which is zero at the moment, but you'll need to set that on analog. Mic gain. Man down, key settings, that's an important one. So if we go menu and do the top one, we'll do the top long, watch this. So that's the orange button at the top and then you've got these two and then, I don't know if it does the front, maybe. Um, top, long press, menu, and we're just gonna put radio. So, what's this? 
channel type shortwave. What's SW? I'm not sure what, what SW stands for. Second PTT, so that shows you you can have two. FM radio, select. So when we back out now, and if we press and hold the top button, it's going to turn off the radio. See, if we press and hold it again, it should turn it on. Yeah, it does. Press and hold again. Off. So that's how we do it. And the radio works really well. Pleased with that. So basically, if you want to, you know, just use the VFO, hold down the red and just type in your frequency. You could, I could put in one, four, five, uh, six hundred. And we're there. Let's put in 4309250. And we're in analog already. So you just go menu, down to set, menu, channel, and start to go down through. Um, we know we're already in analog channel. That's fine. Let's go. We, I'm not going to put the name in now, but if I wanted to, look. Uh, well, you can't in VFO mode anyway. So receive is that. So that's fine. Now, the transmit frequency, go down one, number six. The transmit frequency is not that. It's four, three, eight, uh, five, four, five, four. It's a 7.6 shift, confirm. Uh, and then we want, oh, let me think now, that RXTX offset. No, we don't need to do that now because we just, we've put in the frequency, but it looks like you can. TX power, high. Bandwidth, narrow or wide, we'll leave it there. Time out, how long you speak. Let's go a bit longer than that. There you go. That's how long before it, it will say to you, right, you're not speaking anymore. Back. Uh, transmit CTCSS is the one I want. And it, yeah, 77 is fine. Now, I always turn receive off, and it is already off. If you leave it on on receive, it just means you don't hear all the all the squelchy noise on receive. And we can give it a name. Look, what, oh no, you can't. We already said we can't. You can in memory mode. So in theory, I should be able to open M zero FXB test. Let's try again. M zero FXB test test. I'm not seeing the frequency change, although there is a plus there. So anyway, I want to do, you know, I could do it now, but I want to do a nice detailed close-up video of, of creating an analog channel and um, and the DMR channel. This is more of just a quick overview after an unboxing. So let's just quickly test the DTMF, see if, if we have to actually program it, although I know it does work. Yeah, so DTMF works fine for nodes. So we'll come back soon and we're going to get this connected to my computer and we're going to add a load of stuff in. That's my next video, really. Get a few things working. Look at all the settings we can configure. This is hot off the press, this radio, but I have purchased this radio. Um, it's, it wasn't sent to me for free. It's my radio. I purchased it so I can do what I like with it. Um, bye for now. 7.30.